you just recording because I don't know what I'm walking into. So. The people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. The police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. I got a copy about these pictures you're sending me. I don't know what this was all about. Oh, I forgot. Young Sheldon's not going to be young. So whatever you want to watch. You know, we talked about everything. His hopes, his dreams, his fears. Even the Not a lot of people know this, but the gecko is actually left. Handed. You can see about the way he holds the microphone when he comes to the podium. He made it easy with only his Easy way. Look at those easy. pictures. I don't quite understand what's going on with them. On one hand, it's uh, uh, the right of right coverage for the gecko. From cars to home to jewelry, it's easy to gecko. Okay, here's where the here's the first. Who does this look like? And I said no, but I thought it was Monica Lewinsky to begin with. <laughs> does it look like that? Yeah, is it? Uh, no. I mean, not. I don't know. I mean, it's not purported to be her. But what I'm saying is, people are doing janky stuff on the internet my the whole thing preceding that is literally uh you know the videos and stuff that they released that like look no this this before that these videos appear appear to be messed with you know in in a number of ways and in the you know part of the thing was well they didn't come out and say it immediately they dicked around with the you know the you know, Kate's situation with cancer or whatever. Ignoring uh, it, denying it. I mean, that's the way that they operate. Yeah, but what I'm saying is... It's going to go away and it's going to be able to deal with it. Yeah, but okay, now imagine if people did some really evil stuff and they're trying to hide behind, you know, stuff on the internet. And anyway, so I just thought, you know, does that... It looks almost like Aunt Kathy to me a bit, right? I mean, it, it definitely to me looks like... Josh and Kathy, kind of, but um, is, that, is that Josh? That's an older picture of Josh. Yeah, from one of you know, I, it's from the cover of the mix that I Milky Mix Eleven, but it's like it's an older picture. It's where we're in Corpus Christi. Yeah, or Galveston. Corpus Christi. There's a battleship there. Corpus there used to be. Yeah, I think it's an old thing there. No, it's not. Yes, there's a battleship there. We were in Corpus, and it was the Adam, Alex, Josh, you, yeah. Dad. Exactly, and we have that picture, and it's a nice family picture. Yeah. Um, but, but this isn't Monica Lewinsky because she's, you know, she's, a, she's an older woman. Yeah. She's so, but what I'm saying is, I think that that looks like that when we look here and we look at the two of them, it looks like, uh, you know, uh, it looks like. Aunt Kathy has a granddaughter. I mean, that's what it, that looks like to me. Does that not look kind of like Aunt Kathy and Josh? It doesn't look like Josh or Kathy to you? It looks like Josh. Okay. I mean, absolutely it looks like Josh, but it doesn't, I don't know. Okay, so, so that one looks like Josh, right? Yeah. And, okay, this would be, you know, apparently maybe the same person. Now, do these look like the same person? And if you need a side-to-side -side picture... No, they this, don't. They don't look like the same person. No. So to you, this is the first time you're seeing this. They do not look like the same girl, right? Woman. Right. Okay. They're purporting to be the same woman. And this is kind of what I've been trying to say is that someone's doing some stuff where they're lying about whatever the situation is. And specifically, I think... Uh, and I do in order to hide that they're doing stuff that, that they shouldn't be. But, um, throwing, you know, I think this one, like, you know, the, so you're, you are, you agree. This, that looks like Josh. The only thing is his cheeks are pretty, too, almost too full. His cheeks are? 
it's fine. Well, I'm I'm saying like hypothetically, Josh has a secret daughter or something, right? Does that look like that could be her? No. Oh you just said it looked like Josh. No, this one looks like Josh. Oh, the middle one. The Josh looks like Josh. Yeah, because that is Josh. But the girl does not look like Josh at all. Dude. No. It doesn't look like Josh has a uh, has like some kind of daughter. Dude. No. Hmm. All right. That I mean, it looks like that to me. But you're saying also though. Okay. So I'm just asking you. I'm ask. I want to. I want your perception because I Are know. Are these the same people? No. Okay. That's. This is why I'm asking these types of things because they're purporting to be the same person. Okay. They don't it look, look like, like it. it. They don't have the same nose. Their nostrils are different. I understand that, a, and they don't have the same skin type. But I understand that different pictures, different lighting, different cameras can uh, give you different results. Okay, I have enough pictures over enough time to say this. Something is pretending to be one person, and it's, you know, that. Yes. Well, do you care? Do you care? Yeah, I care. Why? Because I think it's specifically, uh, I think, designed to mess with me. Okay, you just admitted that they don't look like the same person, and I can show you they're purporting to be the same person. Yeah, but why would they be messing with you? I mean... Well, you don't think I'm special, but uh, I think a lot of other people believe I'm really special, and some people don't like that. But I just, I'm not... You don't have to ask why. I'm just asking that. You just admitted it doesn't look like the same girl. That should bring some suspicion up because they're pretending to be the same person. I mean, that doesn't bother you? I don't care. Okay, this it is what I'm saying. You don't me, no. it, it. It's something that you don't care about, which is fine. I mean, you don't have to care about it. I think at some point when you realize what's going on, you will. But I'm telling you that something is going on and that this is not good. Like, you know, I'm... If something online is pretending to be one person and it's multiple people, that cannot be good for people's mental health, correct? If, if, some, if someone online is lying about being one person and they're multiple people. You, you, you don't have to care about it. I don't have to care about it. Apparently you care about it. Stop caring about it. Stop. That, that, that's not how this works. It is how this No, works. I'm invested in it, and something has already hit me in a way that it shouldn't. And instead of just saying, ignore it, I'm asking for help on it. There needs to be some public accountability on this. This is not an account with nobody. It's a verified account. This is the, re this is the rest of our lives, Matt. And it's going to get worse No, and it's worse the and rest worse. of my life because I need a support system that actually engages that people are doing something wrong, specifically to me. But you don't believe that part. But I'm saying this is... This I spent my life, 45 years of my life, dealing with a lot of people doing a lot of wrong, and I can't care about it that much. And I'm telling you, it's a new world, and I can't escape this thing because it's not just one person doing this. And I've been asking for your help, but you're saying ignore it even though they're, they're doing things that they shouldn't. And when I did ignore it, they, they put themselves in front of my me. That's the best advice that I can give you. You've got that. That's not. You, you know, you have the capability. I just watched a thing on, you just, you just said Channel 11 was where Young Sheldon is. They say Channel 11 verify. You can send a message to them if you have some sort of message or concern about something online. And they'll confirm it, like, they'll do their best to look into it. What I'm saying is that I would like some public accountability on a situation where people are doing something to me, online for sure, and I believe in person, and that I've been asking for a while for help on it, and I'm just not getting that. And you saying ignore it is not appropriate. At a certain point, it has already affected my life and will continue to until it's engaged properly. I can't trust online now. I can't trust anything I see. And I'm someone who, you know, reasonably, the, the stuff that I do is all online. I know that you do not do all of your stuff online. And you can avoid something like this. I cannot, and I've been telling you that for a while, and you will not listen and engage me appropriately. I'm not of your generation. I can't just ignore this. It is in my space of what I deal with, right? So, it's going to get worse. Exactly. It's going to get worse you if you just learn. pretend. No, that is not an appropriate answer. That is an old answer in an old world. It's but this is a new worse. world. It's going to get worse because you will not help me. 
and this is wrong and inappropriate. You need to help me. I've asked you for help on this, and you won't, will not help. What you want me to do? I'm telling you. Reach out to the news. I've told you this how many times? I'm going to reach out. Why will you not reach out to the news on this? Why will you not get some public accountability? Why are you pretending that this is not affecting me in a way that is really hurtful to me, and you're just saying ignore it, and that's not working. That's not appropriate. Well, man. You're overreacting to all of this. You're just overreacting to this. No, you're underreacting, and it's really inappropriate. I'm, I'm done talking about this. I'm going to go up to my room, but I really feel bad that this is how you're engaging an issue that is so important to me, and I can't get you to actually help or do anything. And I've told you so what, what you I would think, like help right? with. Right. What, what? About all this we're talking about. I, 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 truly, I, I really that was not listening so much to your conversation as I was trying to hear you. But, I mean, uh, Well, that's a way to handle it, too, right? Well, that's kind of what you're doing, too. You're not listening to me. I'm not going to take care of this. Yeah, because you don't care about it. I, when you're gone, you always talk about, when I die this, when I die that. When you're gone, people are going to be hurting me in a way that I can only engage now if you will help me. I'm helping you. You are not helping me. This is not helping me. It's not helpful. And I don't want to engage in a conflict. I don't want this to create a conflict. It's just hurting me. And I can't get it to go away. And ignoring it is not realistic. It is a bad answer. That is not okay. I'm going to try to help you get it to go away. Okay. Really? You're going to try to help me? I'm not calling the news. I'm not calling. I want to help you. I love you. What are you are you trying to say that you're like what what is that suggestion? What are you actually saying you're going to do? I'm, I'm, I'm going to. I think that you need to talk to somebody, and it's not me. It's not you because you won't help me with this. It's hurting me. It's been hurting me. I'm asking for help. You won't help. You're pretending it's not something that's really going on. I'm not. I just think that you're an older generation person who does not understand the situation that I'm in. People are hurting me. People are causing me mental distress. I've asked for help on it. You even just said they aren't the same person. If they're purporting to be well, the same person, you know, you're, you're having mental distress, and, um, and it's being it's something that I've asked for because something is trying to bring mental distress on me. You cannot have a standard where I'm held to account for what other people are doing to me and what other people are putting in my path for me to stumble along to and be, you know, distressed by. I can't be held to such a standard where they're not held to account and I am. That's so inappropriate and wrong and you should feel bad about it. Don't pretend like you're helping me by going and getting someone else who isn't going to help my problem. So that's it. Just ignore this. Drop this. I'm not going to bring it up to you again. You need to go to... No, you need to stop drinking, stop taking all the drugs, and stop pretending that someone isn't causing me problems. I'm going to go upstairs. I don't want this to be a conflict. I'm trying to avoid conflict. I've been telling you for a long time that people are hurting me. You're admitting that they're doing something that is not okay by pretending to be a person. Stop it. The, stop it. The younger generations of people are being hurt by older people like you not engaging what the reality is. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, you are acting like this is okay. That is wrong. That's wrong. You're wrong for this. You're in the wrong for this. Absolutely. You need to get yourself some help. What? You I'm asking for help, help, and what you're saying is not helping. I don't want to go through this again. And you know what I'm talking about. Where I lashed out because something actively hit me and hurt me that even Josh has said is happening, and it's wrong. And I cannot get you. Josh Stone, my cousin, your nephew, has said it's happening. It's wrong. He understands in the least that this is a generation where online people are doing things that are hurting people's mental health. Stop before you say anything. Well, you you need to engage mean? the people who are hurting people, not the people who are being hurt. I mean, actually, I'm asking for help and you're providing none. You should feel terrible about that. But I don't want to be in this conversation anymore because it's not going anywhere. You're just running it in circles and not engaging my problem. That's a terrible way to deal with this.
I'm, I'm as mentally ill as I've been the whole time and asking for help on something. It's mental illness that you won't engage a problem that is hurting your son. What you're suggesting is not appropriate. It is old people think. I don't live in the same generation as you. I don't get to hide in my house and stay off the internet. I'm, I've been telling you people are messing with my ability to make money on the internet, and I should be making more than I am. This has nothing to do with my quote unquote mental health issues. That This has everything to do with you're part of a generation that does not understand how the world works these days. Stop claiming this is a mental health issue. It is, a mental health it is not. It's. I've help. already told you. It is not appropriate that something is causing mental distress on people by doing something inappropriate. If you don't understand that, you do not get what this place is these days. I'm telling you, this is wrong. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a child. That this is okay. If I'm telling you something is wrong, something is wrong. It's not appropriate for this. I can see what's wrong. You can't see what's wrong. I can, certainly can. And you can't I, see because you're I, drinking, because you're taking a bunch of drugs that are messing with your head. You cannot see what is right. You cannot. So stop. I, stop talking about this in a way that you, you clearly don't understand this. You clearly don't. It is not appropriate. You are of a generation that doesn't understand why this is not appropriate. And I'm telling you, as someone from a generation that cannot get off the internet, because that's where our lives are lived, okay? Let me you, tell you something. I love you. Can you want to help? No, you don't. You're, what you're suggesting is not helpful. It is only empowering people's lies. Which is just starting. And talking about this with a small voice and not engaging what I'm saying is not the way to actually deal with it. We were talking a loud voice. No, I've told you what I want. I want you to help me hold these people publicly accountable, and you're not doing that. Why? Why? Why would you not do that? That is not my job, and that is not what's wrong. Okay, this is why you're part of an older generation that doesn't understand what's up. You need to step back. You aren't in control, okay? You understand that, right? If this is what you're saying, you aren't in control of this situation. And by trying to say that I'm mentally ill is wrong. That's gaslighting, that's inappropriate, that's wrong. I've told you, there is an issue that is at hand here and needs to be engaged and you will not help with it. What is the scene that you there? No, it's not gonna be helpful for you to call someone and say my son has a mental health issue. That is wrong. I do not have a mental health issue. If you're saying I do, the people that are causing mental distress on me need to be held to some account. I love you, and you, you just need to, you know, get, I, I suppose that's never going to happen until I intervene. No, you already intervened. What did it help? I spent several years, I didn't bring anything up. I'm telling you again, someone has stepped over a line that they should not. You need medication. I don't need medication. I don't need to be drugged out of my mind like you are. You take a concoction of drugs, then you come home and drink yourself to fucking please, please a go coma. Away. Go away, Matt. That's your that's your response, right? Exactly. It can never be productive because you won't provide something productive for me. You only give me bullshit. And it's hurtful. It is. You just said, I'm sure it is. It is. It is so hurtful. If you don't understand how you're hurting me on top of them, that's a problem. Dysfunctional, she's dysfunctional. I mean, okay.
they're still talking. This is why I turned the camera on because I sent my mom uh, some stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch from this. We're going to go to part two and part two is going to be recorded on my computer. My point with this, look, it is not okay. What's going on is not okay. They're talking downstairs. She's saying I'm mentally ill. She's an 80 year old woman. She does not understand how this place works, how I am someone who does stuff online. I keep getting robbed for my cryptocurrency stuff. My online identity is being compromised in a way that it is not okay. It's illegal. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's illegal, but it's just wrong. Uh, you know, I've been, she's, she's saying I'm having mental health issues. It is not okay to have even this thing that I've been saying, if there are is an account where multiple people are pretending to be one person that is mentally distressing, right? She even admitted that. How she doesn't understand this because she's an 80-year-old woman who is basically about to retire, how she doesn't understand this is, it's, it blows my mind. But this is wrong, right? You, you get that, right? So I'm going to end this here, and I don't want to be stressed out. This is what stresses me out. She is what stresses me out because she's wrong, but she's in control of like my situation. Why? I, I'm following the honor your parents. Uh, you leave your house. You know, this is a bi biblical principles. Leave your house, uh, leave your mother and father when you become one flesh, uh, with a, you know, your wife. Right. And so I'm out there looking for a wife and women are doing evil stuff to me, and she is allowing it to happen either because she's a woman and she thinks that I'm a man who deserves to be like punished and hurt, which is wrong. If that's the case, that's a terrible fucking thing, and she's a bad person. I don't care if she's my mom. If that is what this actually is, she's a terrible fucking person for that. If it's just that she is old and doesn't understand how this place works and that I can't just get offline and I can't just avoid these people. When I did that, I've, d I've done that from 2019 to 2020 now. I, so like I didn't have what, what she's saying, mental health issues for a while. I've already brought up with, again, my cousin Josh has confirmed there is a an account, Stephanie Justin, right, where... This person is clearly, and according to my cousin Joshua Stone, the son of a judge here in Houston, Texas, Kathleen Stone, her sister, Josh says this woman is har like is is harassing me and that it's wrong. It, that she's doing something online that's harassing me and it's wrong. She's not the only one. Stephanie Justin is just the most obvious who's taken it to a degree and to a level that is like literally she's like her most recent thing is matt and i think it's someone using her or someone using her image or the content generated from her my mom is an old woman who doesn't understand this i don't want to beat my mom over the head for being old but her oldness is hurting me because i'm, I'm not in, able to engage something that i can't just avoid younger generations of people absolutely cannot just avoid this i've been robbed multiple times online rug pulled in a very public way. I've had my car stolen, which I think had something to do with all this. Uh, I've been lied on multiple times by people who should be my friend. Like Joel Macaluso should be aware of what's going on. I'm pretty sure he's participated and done something uh, behind the scenes that I don't know about. And that's why I lashed out at people because that's actually been something that's been suggested to me. So I'm saying that this is all wrong. Joel, if that hasn't happened, you need to speak out about this. This is not okay. Stephanie Justin, whatever this character is, it's wrong. However, I'm going to say this. Joel said the same thing, which is why I think, you know, he 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 basically told my mom, like, if if he's so inept that when this was going on originally and he told my mom, then he needs to admit that he was wrong and that there is someone who's been messing with me in a way that is pretty extreme. If he is participating, he needs to be punished because he lied about the situation on legal documents, which threw me in a mental hospital the first time. Again, if I was all right from 2019 to now, and then all of a sudden I'm having mental health issues or whatever, I'm allowed to have weird beliefs and stuff. 
But if if that's what it is that I've been okay and all of a sudden this account pops back up and it, it very clearly is aimed specific or it it pops back into my purview because I can't you know it it this I'm a video game player. This girl is like literally her image is one of the characters in one of the most popular video game franchises of all time. If I'm on YouTube, I literally can't avoid her. If I'm on uh, Instagram, her stuff pops up in my discovery stuff. Uh, when I you know like. In any instance, it's wrong that it is just an account that is specifically de designed to hurt me. I've even said that something weird was going on with that account, but now my mom has even admitted, hey, there's an account, uh, you know, with Anja Ambrosio, Alessandra Ambrosio's daughter, all right? There's something weird going on with that, and even my mom is saying the two girls, like two people that are uh, purporting to be Anja Ambrosio... They don't look like the same girl. They don't. You can tell from the nose. You can, like, they do not look like the same person. Something is going on where people are trying to hide behind one account and do, like, mentalism on people and hurt people mentally. This is distressful and hurtful to my mental health that I have to deal with it. It is more distressful and hurtful that Cheryl Cohorn, who's a lawyer, who should be perceptive enough to deal with this, like, she said they, they don't look like the same person. And yet she's still trying to make me feel like I'm in the wrong for engaging this like I am. And then she's screaming now about how she has to come home and dad doesn't want to back her up. She doesn't want to back me up. saying you have mental illness because you're stressed out. I had a million dollars people stole from me. I told you it's related to this situation. You don't want to care. So go upstairs, please. I don't understand how she can hold me to account saying that I'm raising my voice and not being calm. And then she elicits, you elicit the same reaction from her. And yet she's all right to scream at you and curse at you and whatever. And I'm telling you, someone is doing something wrong and she even admitted it. She's just, like, she doesn't understand generationally how this is a problem. And I'm asking for help, and I can't top, get it. Uh, how the price of things stick at the top make people feel the whole thing somewhere? <laughs> it's terrible. All right, I love you. I'll, uh, I didn't. I didn't mean to cause this. Someone's, someone is messing with me online, and I just want it over with. And it's caused our family so many problems. And Cheryl didn't want to admit that she was wrong in the first place. So she's doubling down saying that I have some kind of mental problem, even when she's admitting what they're doing. Anybody who's younger than 50 years old would say that when, what she just said, that two people pretending to be the same person on, an, on an, a social media account, anybody who's, you know, my generation or younger is going to, even Josh has said that what is going on is wrong. I just can't get her to understand why that would be a problem. Even when meeting your A1C role. And it's hurting me. It's, you know, if she wants to claim I have mental health issues, it's hurting my mental health and I've asked for help and it's been like five months. And Josh, again, Josh is saying it's happening and it's wrong. And it's all right. I understand you don't know what to do. What, what needs to happen is that she needs to use her influence to like bring public accountability. She's a lawyer. I mean... It shouldn't. It's on her that she's acting like this. It isn't on you. It isn't on me. It's on her. I'm not leaving. Right? If it's 
Yeah, well, I'll tell you what that's, that's wine is. Yeah, and the, all the concoction of Rx drugs that she takes does not help either. But that combined with the wine makes her un incapable of dealing with a reality that is at hand. But I love you. I'm going up. Okay. Don't let don't let her stress you out too much. She doesn't get to say that I have mental health issues and then exhibit that kind of behavior and 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 not and then go well. I do all the work here and so I, I it doesn't matter. It's like well you let them steal from me and millions of dollars like a, literally a million dollars in cryptocurrency is a million dollars. So you let them steal that. That could have helped you retire. So she won't help me get that. She doesn't get to say that she's. Uh, that, that she's the one who's bringing in the bread when she let people steal a lot of money from me and will not engage that it's partially happening because people are messing with my online accounts and identity. So, okay, I love you. I'll be upstairs. Okay, do you see why this has been so difficult? I can even be, to anybody who's not an 80 year old woman, what she just agreed is going on as far as the, the like multiple accounts, like a person, a single account with multiple pr people pretending to be the same person because they look similar is not okay. And the fact that she has such a terrible reaction. She, there's a double standard in this household because she brings in the money and does the work. A lot of it is she goes to this office she hasn't needed for years. She does work that like she could do from home. She spends all sorts of time in the day like not focusing on her health, not focusing on whatever, and then gets angry about all sorts of stuff and just doesn't know how to deal with this. And this is hurting all, all of us, all like all the whole family, that she is like this that I can't get her to engage my issues. I'm at a standstill because I can't get her to engage. She should be my right hand. She should be my, uh, you know, my support system. Uh, not just like, okay, well, you know, they, like whatever happened uh, previously, all the stressful stuff and, and stuff where, like I'm saying, people have lied about the situation. Obviously I lashed out and exhibit ment like mental distress in the same way she obviously is because she's stressed out that someone isn't getting something that is really crucial to them. I don't get how she's missing this double standard that she just like literally explodes in a way that if I did that, you know, like, you know, she would be saying I have mental health issues, right? But she gets to do it because she doesn't have any insight on what she looks like from the outside. Okay? I mean, this should be really obvious. What I'm saying is not, like, hard to miss. People are messing with me. People are stealing from me. People are messing with my digital identity. And I need help with that. And I've asked for her to help with public accountability, and I can't, I can't get it. And um, what I'm asking for is something like this. Here is, you know, we got channel 13 here. We got channel 11. On my Discord, uh, on this Discord that I share with Joel as far as uh, Fringecraft, this is also another reason like, okay, if I was doing all right for a while and, and, and now there's a claim from her that there's a mental health issue, yet I can, I'm going to show in this video that I make, Josh Stone, again, the son of my aunt, Kathy Stone, who's a lawyer here, has said that this woman, Stephanie Justin, is messing with me and that it's not okay. But okay, look, this is what I'm talking about. She can send a, like, I, I just watched this and posted this on the thing. You got KHOU11 here. And at the, the end of it, posted on social media claims a hail solar farm, but it continues to operate at a reduced capacity. Interesting stuff. Hey, if you have something you want verified, this is what I want verified. And I'm, I'm going to send this to KHOU and I'm going to put this up publicly on my thing. At KHOU, I've asked for help on with from the news people before uh, or asked for y'all to look at something. This is something that is absolutely crucial. This is, you know, it, it is not OK that people are doing this with social media accounts. But um, I want this verified. So I'm going to send, you know, 
I'm gonna post this and send this uh, in an email or something to KHOU. But my whole point here is like, I cannot get Cheryl Cohorn, my mom, to engage that this is hap Well, she's saying it's happening now. She's just not saying it's wrong. And she's saying that I have mental health issues. If I have mental health issues, if there are people that are hurting my mental health, like, you know, on my on my YouTube channel here, right? This is, this is actually why this can be, you know, helpful to have a YouTube channel where you're expressing yourself and telling you and, and telling people like what's going on with you. Uh, when I have this video here, Stephanie Justin versus my mental health, and I, like I said, I'm about to switch to uh, the computer, and this will I'll do part two on the computer, but part one here is, uh, you know, from the phone, and so that you can see what goes on or hear what goes on here, it, you know, and part of it is there's an absolute double standard where she can explode on my dad, and and where she's she elicits a reaction from me that is like emotional, same way dad seems to issue a reaction, and he's like a stone, and then she's like a stone to me. And like, uh, you know, I, I just can't get her to engage that, like, hey, first of all, you, that's a double standard where you're like screaming and cursing at dad, you're being inappropriate towards him. And he just, he just wants to stay out of it. Uh, Cause honestly, I think he realizes what I'm saying is true. In fact, he's, I believe he's told me as much, but you know, this specific exact part of this situation, he hasn't said that. So I'm not going to say that he said that, but he, he has definitely said that, well, like, okay, if it's going, I, I don't know how I can help. And it's like, Oh, you could tell mom that, hey, she it would be appropriate if she actually helped me, but I still can't get him to do that or her to do that. So I, I just don't know what to, I, like, this is, this is the only way I can defend myself. This is the only way that I can prove, like, you know, part of the thing is, uh, like, it, what, is she going to force mental health stuff on me? Then you need mental health stuff forced on you. What you did with dad was not appropriate. It's that actually, like, you could hear it from up here. Me having a deep voice saying that people hurting me is wrong and she doesn't want to acknowledge, I can't get off the internet. I'm not getting off the internet, right? I do, you know, I've made, like I'm living off crypto money still and like it's money that I have that I, wasn't stolen, but that, you know, a significant portion of my money was. When I say a million dollars in cryptocurrency, I'm not kidding. And you know, a million dollars in crypto in 2018 could be a lot more now. So that's, you know, why this needs to be engaged and fixed. Okay, so here, this is, by the way, when I'm talking about Stephanie Justin, Stephanie Justin is Matt. Do you think that's on accident that, that this is happening? And she's just too much of an old woman to help me. And like old women, I know you're competent and I know you're helpful. She's just too close to this situation as an old woman. Any old other old woman maybe that want to help me, I would really appreciate it. Maybe even Aunt Kathy. Hey, but here's the, here's the uh, last part of this. I think people have done something really wrong around me, and I don't know why it's being protected, but it needs to end. And it's like, it's not going to, like, I, the same thing would happen where it's like, oh, okay, you know, if, if, if she gets mental health stuff for me or whatever, and I come out of it, and I spend a good amount of time being okay, and then I stumble upon another one of these things where it's like someone is very explicitly trying to fuck with me, like hurt me and hurt my mental health, and I'm asking for help, and my family, some of my family is actively saying very clearly that it's happening and it's wrong, and yet I cannot get her to do anything about it. And she's the one, again, that should be my support system. So how about this? Kathleen Stone, my aunt, here in Houston. Your son is very clearly saying that something is happening with this Stephanie Justin woman and it's wrong. I think what you should do is, well, how do you, how do you think we should handle this in situations like this? Because no one has the authority really to deal with this. What are the police going to ha have her shut her account down? I mean, I guess that could happen, right? I mean, like uh, Meta could shut her account down. Meta could shut these other accounts down too. But I think it's important that public accountability is had because no, it's not right. What it, it, it's not going to go away if you shut down one account. You have to prove that this is something that goes on and then people can perceive it better, right? Because part of this is like, you don't expect it to be that there's uh, like body doubles essentially for like certain people's accounts. And then, oh shit, wait, there's that's not the same person. So, and again, that's even the part she agrees with. They don't look like the same person because they aren't. At least based on everything I can perceive. But again, as I've said previously, something's trying to mess with my perception. I think that's the whole point of it. And something's trying to mess with my mental health. I think that's like the, 
the secondary knock-on effect that they are happy with. And they're happy that, you know, someone like Cheryl, my mom who should be my support system, doesn't support me in the way that I'm asking or that she should. And then, you know, basically goes the opposite direction to gaslight me because, you know, people lie to her and she believes that over me. So that's a bummer and it really hurts me and it's really been hurting me and this needs to end. But okay, that's it. I'm going to switch this to uh, computer mode and yeah. So we'll, uh, I'll pick up part two on the computer, okay? But I do want this verified, all right, KHOU? Um, Channel 11? I mean, really, please, here in Houston, right? This is, this is going on here in Houston. Channel 13, YouTube, Channel 26, ch I've said this before. Channel 2, Channel 8, PBS, Channel uh, 11, 13, 26, uh, Telemundo, Univision. If there's any ones that I've missed, I know there have been like the Cube and, you know, at one point UPN 20, I don't, uh, the CW Channel 39, I don't really keep up with local news. As, like, I I just have the, I follow follow them on YouTube, like I'm subscribed on YouTube, but I don't really, uh, you know, I don't really watch TV much anymore. This is why, like, I go down there watching TV, she doesn't understand that's old people. That's old people thing like young people like me don't watch tv and my young people i'm getting i'm getting to the point where i'm like old people like not actually but you know like there are young much younger people than me and in the same way that like this country has like old people running it and they don't actually see what's going on that's what's going on here and i can't get the old people in this household to engage a real issue that is affecting me in the same way that you know I can't, I'm sure lots of young people can't get older people to uh, engage an issue that's affecting them. And there's also a double standard where you could hear her, how she was reacting from, you know, the stairwell. Like, it, she was screaming. I was, I had deep voice because I don't want to be talked down. And, you know, she does this, oh, well, I'm going to remain calm. In the same way my dad is, and it frustrates her, she's doing that to me right? Where he's like, oh, I don't really know. I don't know what you want from me. And the same way she's doing that shit to me and it's frustrating me and it's hurting me. And then the fact that like I'm having this issue and it won't be fixed and what, it, what, like actually is going to a mental health thing. I come out and I'm okay. And then I have to deal, like I, I come back into a situation where, yeah, this is specifically something that's fucking with my mental health and I can't get it engaged. And like, I cannot get off the internet. That is, it is old people logic to think that I can just get off the internet. I've made literally my life, like how I, how I have money is from the internet. And I've been saying something's messing with my digital identity and my, uh, you know, like YouTube studio, my uh, various accounts and stuff. And it also seems like there's something somewhat protecting it. So I, I, there's absolutely something going on here and it needs to be brought out into the light of day. I even heard something downstairs as they were talking like the local news uh, thing on, you know, what, Lester Holt, um, like the 5.30 NBC News or Channel 2 News. It turns into national news right at 5.30 and Lester Holt does the, you know, they talk about the news stories for the day and I think the last news story they were talking about a local news thing in Maine and the lady said uh, specifically, maybe I can even pull it up on here and I'll try to do that for part two, but that um, it's like up to local news to cover the things that are happening in the darkness. And this is something that is happening in the darkness and I'm trying to put a light on it and I can't get you know her to engage it because she just doesn't understand. And if she does, she's being really wrong about it. And like it's hurting me and I can't, <laughs> I can't get any reasonable result, okay? So I don't have anything else to add on this video and I'll, we'll, you know, I'm going to put part two on um, the computer. I'm, I'm going to record it on the webcam and, you know, with the whole setup so I can show like, hey, my cousin did say this, that it's wrong and it's happening. Uh, my, if this is like, this is the account. This is why. This is the video. This is the pictures that I sent my mom where she's saying, yes, it looks like there's two these are two different girls, but it's purporting to be the same account and they're purporting to be the same women. If she's done something to participate with this and like she's trying to keep some kind of like weird thing going where she, they just are willing to lie until it's like forced out into the open, it's wrong, you're wrong, you should feel terrible, it, there's going to be hell to pay, you know, 
it's like a psychological form of abuse. And I, like, if you've been doing it for the past seven or eight years, you're probably doing it before then. But you know, I just can't get her to engage this R rationally, reasonably, with any form of logic. She's trying to make me feel like I'm the emotional one. Obviously, the way she's reacting towards my dad, she's the emotional one. I have, uh, you know, a lot of clarity. I'm not taking a concoction of drugs and then, you know, coming home and, uh, and by concoction of drugs, I mean, you know, she takes stuff to sleep. She takes stuff to like wake up. She takes stuff for her heart. She takes stuff for this, that, and the other. She does no exercise. She did like, she, uh, like, she just holds me to a double standard that she doesn't live up to. And then she wants to beat me over the head when people are beating me over the head instead of helping me. So, okay. That's, I think that's a succinct way of saying it. So, Channel 11, you want to help? You want to verify this? This would be reasonable. This would be appropriate. This would be, you know, you would uh, be helping, like, a situation where you should be helping. So, this is what the news is about, local news, like, shining a light on darkness. Please shine a light on this darkness, okay? Please. All right, that's it. Ending this here. Later. Yeah.